I'm Julie Bartke with this Senate update. Budget negotiations are ongoing between the House, the Senate, and the Governor. Most of it's being done under what many call a cone of silence, where neither the House, Senate, or Governor is speaking with the press. Now, one indication that progress is being made was on the th Senate floor on Thursday when it was announced there was an agreement in the Judiciary Budget Target. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, uh, members, uh, I see uh, Senator Bach, Majority Leader, is not on the floor. Uh, we are, let's see, 24 hours ago, we had a discussion on this floor about the progress that uh, was being made in negotiations to bring this uh, session to a, a conclusion. Um, it might be appropriate to have uh, a, an update of where we are, and, and uh, since the majority leader is not here, I'm wondering if, uh, Madam President, if Senator Weger might be willing to answer a question. Um, Senator Weger will yield. Let's keep in mind that this is a time for announcements of Senate interest uh, rather than debate. Senator Weger, uh, did you hear S Senator Hand's question? I haven't asked it yet. And, and President, I oh, did I'm not sorry. hear a question. I thought Senator Hand, Thank I you. thought you were asking him to yield for a question regarding an update. Is that correct? Yes. Um, Madam President, I would like to know if Senator Weger would give us, uh, as a matter of Senate interest, an update on the status of the Conference Committee on Education, what the targets are, if they've been set, what they've been meeting about, uh, and if you could just let the body know uh, the progress of the negotiations on the E-12 bill. Senator Weger. Thank you, Madam President and Senator Han. The E-12 Conference Committee has met three times approximately 10 hours. There was about five hours devoted to going through the side-by-sides, same and similars, and each provision. The Topics have focused on school facilities, QCOMP, uh, scholarship programs, uh, testing, and which was very timely in light of uh, yesterday's news as well, and the suspension of testing in Minnesota uh, and for MCA on science. Uh, there, in addition to those priority items, uh, I've met with the chair, uh, Representative Loon, uh, have explored, uh, you know, various topics but the bottom line is we're awaiting the targets as you are as well I look so forward to getting those so we can move ahead further thank you very much Senator Hand Madam President other announcements of Senate interest Senator Hand thank you Madam President I wonder if uh, Senator Thomas only would be willing to give us uh, the body uh, for our information and interest the status of the uh, Conference Committee on Economic Development and in Environment and Ag. Senator Tomasoni. Um, Madam President, Senator Han, I'd be happy to tell you that so far the House still has the gavel and hasn't called a meeting yet, and I hope we're getting to one pretty soon here. And on the economic development, we've adopted the sames and the similars that we felt were okay to adopt, and we are still waiting for a target. Thank you, Madam President. Senator Han. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, thank you, Senator Tomasoni. Uh, would Senator Lori be willing to give the body an update on the targets and the status of the Health and Human Services budget? Senator Lori. Yes, Madam President, Senator Han. Um, the Health and Human Services uh, Conference Committee has met four times, uh, stepped through the side by sides. We've gone through um, some of the savings provisions in both bills, making sure that we understand where each of us are, but there's still quite a gulf between us. Uh, it's not time to be adopting provisions until we have a joint target agreed to by uh, House, Senate leadership, and the governor, so we're awaiting that. Senator Hand. Thank you, Madam President. Thank you, Senator Lori. Uh, would Senator Bonoff be willing to tell us about the targets for higher ed and the status of the conference? She's not committee? on the floor. Uh, Madam President, I appreciate that. What about uh, Senator Latz? Would he be willing to talk about the status of the judiciary and public Senator safety? Latz. Yeah, Madam President, I'd be glad to answer the question uh, here. Uh, the judiciary Public Safety Conference Committee received our targets this morning, and as soon as we can get done here on the floor, I can go prepare an offer to send over to my conferees in the House. 
Uh, but we've got our target and we're ready to go. Senator Hand. Thank you, Madam President. Thank you, Senator Latz. That is good news. Uh, do you know approximately how long it will take to put your conference committee report together after you've reached agreement? Senator Latz. Uh, I'm, Madam President, I can't predict that on the behalf of our uh, very capable Senate staff. Um, I'm a little more concerned about how long it will take to get agreement with the House. Uh, but uh, I'd like to get started on that right away rather than spending more time on the floor, if, if I possibly could. Uh, Senator Bonoff. Thank you, Madam President. Senator Han, uh, we're close to getting a target. I, I expect that to happen very shortly. We had a hearing this morning because there are many provisions in the Senate bill that the House did not have. And so uh, various members came before the conference committee this morning to talk about their provisions. Senator Nelson, Senator Stumpf, we went over our attainment goals. And now we're hearing public testimony, the idea being that if we can get everything out on the table before we get our target, the minute we get our target, we can get to work and put our bill together quickly. Is there anyone else who would like to give the body an update on um, negotiations in uh, conference committees? Senator Dibble. Thank you, Madam President. Anticipating Senator Han, and I appreciate the, uh, the inquiry. Uh, uh, Transportation Finance uh, Conference Committee actually has had some uh, great uh, uh, meetings and has adopted a number of same and similar provisions as well as ad has adopted a number of uh, provisions that are different from each other's bills, um, but through uh, the process of discussion and negotiation have come to some agreement on those. Additionally, has done a tremendous amount of work and collaboration with each other, as well as uh, external stakeholders on uh, an initiative that I share with Senator Peterson on public-private partnerships, and we're fashioning uh, a final package uh, to uh, hopefully that will be ready today. In terms of our overall finance targets, uh, as, as everyone probably knows, similar to Senator Lorry's bill, um, we are very, very wide apart in the respective approaches from the House and the Senate. The House, of course, wanting to do uh, 250-some million dollars in one-time general fund attribution to transportation purposes and uh, 350 in, in general fund ongoing. Um, without any plan for its sustainability over the long haul. And so that's a key difference. And of course, the House bill would provide a 25% cut in just basic transit service and no provision for uh, building and operating transitways in the metropolitan area. So there's a big gulf of difference uh, between us. And at the leadership level, I don't know that there's been any resolution or we've gotten very close to resolution of those differences. Anyone else ready to give an update on a conference committee that they're chairing. Then further announcements of Madam Senate President, entrance. Yes. Um, Senator Han. Thank you, Madam President. Um, I'm wondering, uh, we didn't have a volunteer, but would Senator Saxhog be willing to talk about his uh, conference committee and targets and, and the status of that committee? Um, Senator Saxhog. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> yes, Madam President. Uh, we have uh, met uh, with our counterparts in the other body and and have, uh, can you hear me? Senator Saxhog, your mic is cutting out. Is this better? Yes. yes. Okay. We met uh, uh, to go over the side-by-sides. Uh, the uh, the uh, chair from the uh, other body uh, has the gavel today. We're anticipating that we're going to get targets late today, early tomorrow, and we'll meet as long as hard as we need to to uh, complete that, uh, that conference report and bring it back. Senator Dames. Well, thank you, Madam President. Would Senator Dahl yield, please? I beg pardon? Would Senator Dahl yield, please? Uh, he does. Senator Dames. Uh, thank you, Madam President and Senator Dahl. Uh, you have a bill, uh, Senate File 2142, that deals with the avian flu response. I, I think it's a very good bill uh, that appropriates $6.5 million. Senator Dames, we, we are under announcements of Senate interest. If you have a question of Senator Dahl, please ask it. This is not a time for uh, debate. 
Okay, I do have a question, Madam President. Thank you. Senator Dahl, Senate File 2142, the bill that deals with the avian flu and appropriates money to deal with that, not only to the Department of Ag, Board of Health, etc., but also to the producers for loans and things like that. Uh, considering that the point of the time this is and with the situation we're putting our agriculture, our producers and stuff in, uh, would you be willing to do a Rule 5 to bring that to the floor so we can get that passed and get uh, this process moved forward? Senator Dahl. Well, uh, Madam President and Senator Dames, I, I do know that those very provisions that you've talked about are, are, were passed off the House Florida and Ag Bill, uh, Finance Bill, so I think that there's still a path for those, uh, those sorely needed uh, dollars to get out uh, in, in before the session ends. So at this point, um, we do have some time, and I hope that, that, uh, that we can get that done, Senator Dames. Further announcements of Senate interest. Senator Miller. Thank you, Madam President. Would Senator Latz yield? He does. Senator Miller. Uh, Senator Latz, I think it's great news that you have a target. Uh, would you be willing to share your target with the chamber? Senator Latz. Madam President, the uh, Judiciary Public Safety Finance Agreement is a target figure of uh, $2,117,509,000. Senator Miller. Thank you, Madam President. Just uh, to the majority party, if they would be willing to uh, share those targets with members when they come available, that would be uh, very much appreciated. Thank you.